Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here and today we have here ADW2 launcher. So many of you who have been on the Android um, operating system know ADW um, as one of the first launchers to launch on Android. And now uh, they were testing ADW2 on beta for a very long time and this week um, they finally released it, um, the full version to the public. So you could actually download right now in the Play Store ADW2 Launcher um, for free um, and try it out. And I want to sh share with you guys some of the stuff that's new and um, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing as you can see, it's much more modern design than the last launcher than the first one that they released. Um, with this one, it's much more modern. It's following the Android uh, Nougat style and the Pixel Launcher style. So when you scroll up, you have the launch, you have the app drawer here. And then what's awesome also is that you have you could change the categories if you want, or you can have them in most use apps. As you can see, I have it, or you can have it with recently used apps or all apps. I like the most used ones because it's much more easier to just open the apps that I'm looking for. And then of course you have um, the uh, Nougat uh, app shortcuts. So when you just hold down like that, you get to add the profile, send message, or a new tweet depending on the app. I wish much more apps did this because um, it's much more easier and much more better. Uh, and you have a much better experience as well uh, when they add these stuff. Um, and then of course, so that's some of the cool stuff. There, then of course you have, it comes by default, the uh, Google Pale widget, I guess you could call it. And uh, this widget is the by weather timeline I'm using. And then uh, when we scroll up like that, oops, when we just go like that, you have here your um, settings stuff. So all the customization here happens. So you have wallpaper area, then you have your widget area. So the widget area is my favorite part here because it makes it easier for me to find the uh, widgets I'm looking for and what I want to add to um, the um, home screen or any other screen. So I just hold and then you could just, I'm going to move it to this one. We'll just leave it there. We'll create. Well, oops. There we go. And then there we go. After that, we get to, of course, there's still more customization. You have the lock desktop, you have themes. So if you want, you can change the themes as well. So if you're a fan of the Android Nougat, you can have that theme. If you're a fan of Android Marshmallow and so on, you get to change it as well. Um, so you, if it's up to Android KitKat if you want, I'm pretty sure, or yep, up to, oh no, up to Android Gingerbread, you have uh, the themes here for. But of course, because I am an Android Nougat person, I like to have the latest Android uh, stuff, so I'd rather just have it to the default one there. And then gestures, of course, so you can have custom gestures as well. So mine is like that, like you could just have that, or when you scroll down, of course, you have your notification area. Um, so I'm not really a big gesture person, but uh, for all the other people there, uh, you could have custom gestures, of course. And there's system settings and then AW settings as well. So in AW settings, you could change your icon experience as well, appearance. Um, you could change your app drawer style um, and go into much more detail in the launcher uh, settings here. Um, so I have in dark mode, the launcher theme here. So I like dark mode right now, I'm a huge fan of it. Um, and so yeah, um, so this launcher is not for everybody, um, it, but it's much more uh, better looking than the first one. Um, a lot of people online are saying that this one's uglier, this version of it. I don't know what people are looking at, but this one's much more, <laughs> much more better looking. Um, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this launcher yet. Um, but I'm going to still continue playing around with it and maybe I will. I'm still a huge Action Launcher 3 and Nova Launcher per person. Um, so I've been on those launchers the most, but uh, this one, it's it's getting, it's getting there to me. It's getting used to it. I'm getting used to it right now. Um, so yeah, it's really awesome. Um, and there's actually a really quick, cool deal, of course, because a lot of the features that you saw, you cannot do without doing the in-app purchase. So right now, uh, the developers who released the app are having a sale, like right now, 
so if you buy the in-app purchase you get rate right cheaper I think like two or two dollars cheaper than the full price if you wait any longer uh, but you could try it out for free of course because it's free to download into Play Store this launcher so that's it for now guys and I will see you guys later peace